Hi, Mrs. Jones. Thank you for coming to see me on such short notice. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Sally, one of your students. I don't know if you know this or not, but Sally does have bilateral hearing loss, um, hearing loss in both of the ears, and she has a hearing loss at um, 80 decibels, which is uh, in the severe level. So she has a really hard time hearing. Um, she does wear hearing aids, and that does help, but it brings her up to a mild hearing level. Um, she has delayed ex expressive language and delayed receptive language. Um, due to the delays that she has, she has a hard time understanding questions that are being asked, um, participating in fast-paced environments like the classroom, and has a hard time understanding and participating in large and small group settings. Um, she does need additional time to process what is being said around her, and she can hear it, but she has a hard time processing it. We did um, the secondary sifter assessment, and she did score a failing grade on the communication and class participation uh, category. Her academic progress has been affected. She has a lot of difficulty mastering um, grade level content due to some factors. These include her delays in reading and language, um, difficulty following classroom routines, and directions and lack of problem solving um, abilities related to word problems, um, stories, and general application problems. While she does have these difficulties, there are some accommodations and modifications that can be made to help with these. For one, facing Sally whenever you are talking to her will help her see your face and um, help her understand more of what is being said, especially whenever there's less movement. Um, Whenever another student answers in the classroom, it would help for you to maybe repeat what was said. She can't always see everyone in the classroom and see their face to hear and not fully understand what was being said by that student. Um, if you ever think she has difficulty understanding or comprehending, you could always repeat directions to ensure that she is understanding. And um, especially in group settings, whenever she's working with a group, I would just watch, watch over just to ensure that she is understanding what is being said. And of course, I would see her in the front of the classroom in front of where you typically stand on a day-to-day -day basis. That way she has a clear view of you at all times. There are some aids that you could do and some other modifications to the classroom that you could have as well to help. Um, having written instructions on the board for in uh, complex uh, directions, um, visual aids and materials. You could have some room modifications. This could be removing any visual and auditory distractions. Um, providing some soft materials to reduce echoing, which could be like rugs and other things. And on the bottom of the chairs, you could add some tennis balls to reduce the screeching noises. That can be very distracting. And whenever you're giving her a list of instructions, um, simplifying and breaking down complex step-by-step uh, -step instructions can help her a lot with understanding. And finally, some communication strategies, um, repeating and rephrasing when needed will be very helpful for her. Um, sometimes she can, if she's having a very hard time understanding, you could even relocate and move her to a different part of the room or a different room in general so she can see you and hear you better. Um, these are just some things that I thought of that could help her with participating better in the classroom and hopefully improving her academic progress. And I thank you for coming to talk to me today.